a Christmas sign for you. This Christmas, what will be the sign of God for you? A sign from God that the Lord is with you and that the Lord is blessing you. There are times in our lives when life is hard, when life is a real struggle, and we get overwhelmed with the darkness and coldness of it all. It is times like this that we yearn for a sign from God, to shine a light in our lives, to shine a light in our hearts, to shine a light on the world. Although we should not always seek signs, but hold on to our faith and hold on to God, there are times when God does give us signs of his presence and movement in our lives. Some call these signs of God synchronicity, serendipity, God moments, or even maybe even God winks, and even others, the fingerprints of God. And sometimes we may be looking for the really big, big signs, and yet it could be the small and subtle signs that speak volumes and even libraries of wisdom and guidance in our lives. So this year, I believe that the Holy Spirit was guiding me to focus on the small and subtle signs of God this Christmas season. A small word of love from a friend, a small word of forgiveness from a family member, a small act of kindness from a stranger that tell us and others that God loves them, that God loves us. But we are to remember that all good signs point back to God. It is God who gets all the glory and praise. We here this Christmas Eve are here to thank and worship the Lord for all the signs from God that have changed and blessed our lives over this past year. So take a moment and just think about all of the ways in which God has shown you signs of his presence and blessing in your life. It has truly been a good year. And yet today, right now, in this worship service, we are focusing on the Christmas sign, the signs of God, and that we are here to worship the Lord, to celebrate that God the Father sent God the Son to be a tiny infant baby, to be vulnerable, to be present among us, to be fully human and yet fully divine, to experience everything that we have experienced, and yet to shine a light on a new way of life, a new way of loving, a new way of praising and working and giving glory to the Lord. And so those Christmas signs from God almost 2,000 years ago are still ways in which we can meditate and reflect and even learn how God is present with us today. Mary had received a vision from God and the angel Gabriel told her that she was blessed by God and that she would become pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And that the angel also said that the sign for her would be that she would see her cousin. Elizabeth, pregnant at her old age with a baby. And so when Mary visited Elizabeth, she saw that she was pregnant. And that was her sign for her of the truth of what God was telling her, that she was blessed, that she would have a child that would be the Messiah, the Savior of the world, and that nothing is impossible for God. And then the Christmas dream signs from God were those that were given to Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, who was ashamed and angry that his betrothed was pregnant. And so the angel came to him in a dream and gave him a message that Mary was pregnant due to the invisible power of the Holy Spirit. 
and that he should not fear, just like the angel had told Mary, she should not fear, that God was with them, and that he was told to trust in the Lord with the rest and to believe in that sign, that dream sign, that Mary was pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And so both Joseph and Mary had been given signs that affirmed what God had told each of them separately and then united them in that common blessedness of bringing forth the child, the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. And then we look to the shepherds and the signs that they were given. The angels came to them as well and said, Fear not, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. And they were told to go to Bethlehem because the Savior had been born, Christ the Lord, the Savior of the world. And they were told that they would see a sign from God and that it was true what they were being told when they saw that sign that that was the Messiah. And they were to look for a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. A manger, a feeding trough for sheep and other animals. And Mary had given birth to Jesus and placed him in a manger unknowingly that that would be the sign, that that was not something that was commonly done that by putting the baby, and not just any baby, the Messiah, the Son of God, in a manger, a lowly crib, if you will, for God, that that would be a sign to them that it was true, that the Messiah had come, and that the Lord was announcing it to shepherds who were considered like janitors, and that they too would be blessed that this Savior had come to be a sign for the poor and the rich, for everyone. And so we are here to celebrate that the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born to save all of humanity. And that the Christmas sign from God is Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior, the Messiah that they had awaited thousands and thousands of years for. And now we have been celebrating for thousands and thousands of years that he is the Savior. And he's still working to save people, to bless them, that they might have an intimate relationship with God, that they would know that God is with us, Emmanuel, that the Lord Jesus Christ is a healer, that he is healing people even today, and that he is a teacher teaching us the ways in which to live a godly life, how to love and bring glory to God, to fight for justice, to fight to help bring about the kingdom of heaven here on earth, and that we have been united to God because this Son of God became a baby. And that peace on earth is being promised. That he is the Prince of Peace. And someday he will bring about peace on earth for all of eternity. And that he is our Lord and our Savior. And that we are to follow him. That he is the Lord of everything that we do. And that we can have heaven now in some small ways. Even when we participate in eat of the Lord's Supper, that we have a foretaste of heaven, that someday we will be in heaven with the Lord forever until he brings about heaven on earth. So how can we be that Christmas sign for others this Christmas? How can you be guided? Ask and pray that God would help you to be a sign, that you would do something or say something that would impact someone who's a friend, a stranger, or a family member to believe that God is with them. That that is what a sign is, is that we ask for it and that God can make it happen. So maybe you can be that sign to someone that God loves them, that God is love, that God is forgiving, that God is healing, that God 
is with them and guiding them in their life. And they might have that one little moment, that God moment, that helps them to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. So may you all be a sign from God that you would be a Christmas blessing and that you would go forth and celebrate the love of God with more love, peace, and joy. Amen.